So we are here with the first player of the month. If you guys are looking for any cheap and reliable foot 21 coins, make sure to head over to u7buy.com. They sell the cheapest coins and also sell players off their website. So make sure to use code MUZ for 5% off at checkout. Link in the description. Yes lads, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are here with the first player of the month of FIFA 21. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has won it and look at the card design looking absolutely fresh as hell. So anyway, just before we do jump into the cheapest method, please do drop a like, drop some if you're new. And as always boys, in these cheapest methods, I'm going to have a cheeky little review of him, have a look at his stats, have a look at his skill moves and weak foot and stuff like that. And I'll let you guys know whether I think it's worth it or not boys. So let's jump on into this Calvert-Lewin. We've got an 84 Calvert-Lewin, exact same rating as Pucky did last year. Pucky was a really cheap SBC last year, so... We'll have a look, we'll have a look. I've already completed the actual squad, so I'll let you know what I think of it at the end. So he is six foot two. So whether or not six foot two players are more usable this year, in my opinion, they are. Compared to last year, last year six foot two was just no, not great. This year though, with heading being a lot better, six foot two, more than usable. For me personally, I prefer more agile players, even in this game, even with heading being better. I'm not a huge fan of tall target men kind of strikers. But if you guys are then you might like this guy. High medium work rates, which is really, really nice. So his movement should be really nice with high medium and good positioning. He's right footed with three star, three star. Even at this start even at the start of the game, man, three star three star is kind of dead. You can work with three star skill moves. You can definitely work with three star skill moves, but three star weak foot. Having three star three star is not handy really. Um anyway, into his actual stats, he does have eighty-eight pace, but only eighty-three acceleration. So the acceleration will be a little bit of an issue. You'll definitely feel that with his pace. Because he his sprint speed is ninety two, so bit of a weird combination that is as well. You you'd rather have the acceleration at the top and sprint speed a little bit bit slower, but um Pace is still very nice. Finishing looks very solid to be fair. Really good attacking positioning, good finishing, really nice shot power. Long shot's a little bit low, but not, we can work with that. Um, at least he's got nice finishing and shot power. That's a very nice combination. I feel like shot power is a bit of an underrated stat this year. Especially, you can really feel shot power in some players. Especially when you use players with uh, higher shot power. Wow, look at them passing stats. Them passing stats are horrendous. 70 vision, 76 short passing with 48 long passing and only 70 curve. So obviously curve helps towards finesse shots as well. So he's not going to be the best at finessing, mainly just power shots. And then in terms of his dribbling, he's six foot two with that 77 agility, 69 balance. He's going to be a little bit clunky. I will have a look at his body type as well. Body type's always a big thing in FIFA. We'll have a look at that at the end. 85 long shots, uh, 85 reactions even, 82 ball control, 82 dribbling, 76 composure. So he's got slightly lower composure as well. But look at them physicals. 95 jumping with 92 heading accuracy, 86 stamina, very nice, 86 strength, and 79 aggression. So the main thing of this card is he's like a target man with horrendous passing, really. Um, in terms of traits, we've got no real traits in game. So overall, I'm not very hyped about this card. I don't know what you guys think. I don't think he's very good. And it's gonna be very expensive as well, let me tell you that. So let's jump into the actual card. The packs you get back, you do get a Jumbo Gold Pack and a Premium Electrum Players Pack, so not the best packs back. But the first one, 75 Chemistry, 83 Rated with one team of the week. So we're going to move over into this um, camera angle, get a smaller webcam so you guys can see. Um, so I spent quite a while building both these teams. I've gone on Footbin, I've not just guessed the prices, I've gone on Footbin, found the cheapest players by rating and stuff like that. So that one of the cheapest 82, well this guy was the cheapest 82 team of the week, he's called Angel. Angel, so he's around 10 to 11,000 coins. If you do bid or snipe on any of these players, I'm going to mention this a lot. Bid or snipe on a lot of these players, and you'll get it for a lot cheaper. So, in go, I've gone with Onana, the cheapest 84, always cheap from a, a really random league, Eredivisie, obviously. So, not getting used in teams, so he's just SBC fodder. Uh, we've got Suarez at right back, very cheap for an 80 rated. I would bid on him if you can, you'll get a deal. For him for potentially like seven eight hundred coins, uh, Dejean very cheap for an eighty two La Liga centre back like one maximum two k. But again bid and snipe. We've got Pacheco eighty two, Monreal very cheap, um, Fernando one of the cheapest eighty threes as well, Rakitic, Pareo one of the cheapest eighty fives, Ayaza Ball, uh, Angel and then Munyain. So you'd probably expect some of them La Liga players to be a little bit more expensive, but honestly they're not. They're look like genuinely most SBC fodder right now 85, 83. 83s, apologies, um, 83s, 82s and stuff, they are rock bottom priced right now, 
and yeah, so it's very, very, very chill. The 75 chemistry will make this a little bit more expensive. I went a lot more over on chemistry. I do like doing this with, with my cheapest methods. So one tip I'll give, because I've done 87 chemistry, maybe if you don't want to buy, let's say Munyain. Munyain's still cheap, but take up Munyain. If you've got an 83 SBC fodder guy in your club, you can just whack him in there and you've still got the chemistry. Uh, so happy days. Um, that's the first one done, boys. In terms of the second one, you need one Premier League player, an 84 rated and 70 chemistry. So I spent a long time building this one because I wanted to make it as cheap and efficient as possible. You're going to think like, how many Dortmund players have I got? But the Dortmund players are so cheap. Berkey, cheap 34, very, very cheap. Hummel's one of the cheap 36s. He's also like 8,000 coins right now. If he doesn't go up, I'll be surprised. 8,000 coins for Hummel's outrageous. Uh, Piszczek, only 1,000 coins. Galaxy, one of the cheapest 85s as well. Godin as well, very cheap from the Serie A. Just whacked him in at right back. You could pretty much go with any 85 there. Um, in fact, it might have to be a defender. I'm not too sure. Um, but we've got Aaron Gies, 83, very cheap. Oh, Vitzel, they've absolutely killed Vitzel's card this year, so he's nothing more than SBC fodder. Really upset, to be fair, because I really liked Vitzel's card last year, but Vitzel is rock bottom, like 3,000 coins. Along with this guy, 84 rated from Dortmund. You'd expect he'd, he'd be a little bit of money. He's just SBC fodder. Again, 3,000, 3.5k. I was actually sniping him the other day, and he's very, very cheap. you got the combo, the perfect link, a lovely little perfect link here, between João Martinho and Ruben Neves. Again, like rock bottom price, 2 3k. Happy days. And then Wegos, very, very cheap as well. So overall, it's going to cost quite a lot of coins. So, in terms of the, the players I've picked up, the, they are the cheapest players you can possibly pick, pretty much. But in terms of everything overall, this is my final verdict, my final conclusion with the card. Do I think it's worth it? Definitely not. Definitely not, in my opinion. I think 60, 70,000 coins. I don't think that. Oh, there's a price. Here we go. Let's go into Footbin. Um, let me quickly get the display capture. Apologies, I've got it on the wrong screen. Right, here is the prices. So, if prices do not rise and they stay rock bottom, this will be the price. So, 61,000, 61,000, 59,000. I imagine fodder might move a little bit. So, if fodder moves a little bit, maybe like 70,000 ish. So let's say between 60 to 70,000 for this card. I really don't think it's worth it. Three star, three star for a six foot two guy. I mean, you can get a little discount if you've got some players in your club, I guess. That's always a good thing. There are packs back as well for tradable packs. So you could, let's say you get like 10, 15K back minimum with your packs. That pulls it down to like 50, 60K ish. Um, I still don't think it's worth it. I really don't. The only bright side is, is there's not loads of Premier League strikers. I do think Rodrigo's better though. He just is. Rodrigo's 28,000, 27,000 on Xbox. I know he's not got the. Well, he's got a four star skill move, three star weak foot. I was, I was going to say, I know he's not got the weak foot, but he has the skill moves. Way, more agile, smaller, same work rates to be fair. Um, faster. Finishing is not as good as obvious, obviously, but I'd personally rather pay for half the price. I'd, I'd rather have Rodrigo personally. Easier for links as well because he's Spanish. Easier to go into other other leagues. Um, and yeah, overall very good. Another Premier League striker who's he's way more of a cheaper option to be fair. It's not the best example, but if you want a cheap Premier League striker, I don't know if you guys have used him. Very, very good in game. Really liked him. Um, so overall, if you want to do him, go, go do him. If you've got players in your club, if you're an Everton fan, go do him. Uh, but overall, I, I wouldn't really recommend it. I think it's quite overpriced. We're doing predictions on stream, and I thought it'd be a little bit more cheaper than this. I really did, but we're at the start of Eva, and we can't complain too much, boys. So let me know if you guys are going to do him. I'm very interested in seeing whether how many people will do him or not. Let's see when we're going to Div Rivals, how many people actually have this Calvert-Lewin. Personally, I'm definitely not going to be doing, doing him. I do not recommend putting many coins into SBCs. Try keep your coins as best as possible, unless the card's going to be in your team for a good month, two, three months or so. So... If you guys could drop a like anyway, I'd appreciate that. Drop a sub if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.